by the way, can I point out that Microsoft has now is doing exactly everything they hated Google so much for <laughs> in Windows 10. Oh, right? man. Oh, what do you man. mean? Well, the, all of the things that they were, you know, sniping at Google about, they're doing on Windows 10. What, what do you mean? What? Like what? Pri the privacy. Look at read the EULA. They're reading your email. They're oh. they're they're oh, looking at all your data. So <laughs> I want to. Everything you say to Cortana goes to the cloud. Right. But of I, course, I that's how it is. Yeah. No, so they're they're actually still not serving you up. Um, I, I misspoke last week when I said this. They're not serving you up uh, ads in your mail based on what's in your mail. They're not doing that. But they are like listening to you for Cortana and all that. And that's where, especially the Cortana stuff is where you have to opt in and all this stuff. Like, and you, you have a unique, very <laughs> you have a, un this is the big one. You have a unique Microsoft ID across all Microsoft platforms, which is what for Google got badly dinged yeah. for, you know, when yeah. they well, but, did a unified EULA. But that's not. That's not actually new, right? That was in Windows 8. I know. Right. That, the, the, yeah. But, but, but I mean, the point, what, like, in other words, there's a checkbox somewhere in Windows where you can say, I don't want a unique ID. And the point of yeah. the unique ID is that you get ads that are tailored toward right. you, I guess, right? They're customized for you or something. And if you don't How have How would that, they you customize those ads, just out of curiosity? Probably from reading your email. Okay, and, no, just, I don't uh, just point I, that out. I'm, I'm just really saying. Sure, to be honest, I don't exactly have a problem with it, but I'm just is, pointing but... out that it's good they fired Mark Penn because the Scroogled campaign makes no sense in light of what Microsoft's <laughs> doing. I'm not, so, except for one thing. So, um, Google only makes money from ads, and so it behooves them to put ads everywhere. And so, when Google reads email, they're doing it to serve ads. Um, when Microsoft reads your email, um, they're doing it to protect you from spam, and they're not serving ads based on. Uh, your email. So, I mean, I, I, Microsoft's, Microsoft may be moving or, or seeing whether they can move more to a, a Google model in order to offset revenues that no longer exist from traditional products like Windows or Office. But I don't think it's really fair to say in Windows 10 that Google is Microsoft or Microsoft is Google because they just don't really have the capacity or the back end to make money from ads in the way that Google does. Like, or no really the interest, right? Well, I I, if listen, if this was something easy that they could do, I, 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 trust me, I'm not... If they could, not, they would, yeah. They're not sitting in a but, pew in church or something. But, I mean, I, I, I don't... I just think they're not the... They're not the same company. I mean, Google approaches everything from that standpoint because that's what they are. Right. Microsoft comes from kind of an old-school approach, and so they're trying to adapt. I mean, they would have loved to... I, I'm sure if their ad business had taken off, we'd be having a very different conversation, but I just don't think they've you know, ever been successful doing it. I don't know if you saw what Dr. Pizza wrote about this, but he, I think his, it was his article that said the expectations of what people are okay with privacy wise now have really changed. And so, you know, when, if Microsoft had done some of this stuff before, I think it would have been a much even bigger outcry than it was in the past few weeks. And, and they're just counting on the fact that the bar has moved and it's moved because Siri and Google Now and all these other services also collect all your information if you want to opt in for those too, right? So, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 the, only, look, the part I, Microsoft, I Microsoft to, at least lets you opt out in a very, in a very. I, I, well, I, more, visible. more important, Microsoft requires you to opt in. I, I, the interesting thing yeah. is, I, no, they do. do in, no, they really? no, they actually do. No, they really? do. And I'm going to explain. Okay. No, they do. <laughs> right. Tell me. Tell me because I think you're wrong. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. In Windows, in Windows setup, you have a choice at one point to go through express settings or not. Everyone right. just, you know, people have a bad habit of kind of click. I just want to get through this. Come on. Right. And when they do, well, the yes, button for express in. settings is not only bigger than the button for go through Absolutely. one by one. No, it's I'm also not, recommended. Gonna... Yes, of course. Yeah. Because And actually, I think unless you are a real tin hatter, if you actually go through custom settings and look at what you're opting into, None of it, none of it is actually objectionable. There, there, there is a, there, there, is, there is some stuff in Windows 10 that I'm not uh, a huge fan of the default setting, especially around the notion of providing the internet with software updates, which I think is an insane thing to do by default. But I don't really see that as a privacy issue. But as far as like the the privacy stuff that everyone's kind of complaining about, um, most of that is, or all of it, I should say, is handled by not doing an express uh, setup. But even when you do an express setup. Cortana is not enabled. Even, even if you right. choose Express Setup, you still have to go and, and once more. step yeah. through that and say yes. Do you really? And it won't I don't do voice. Doing yeah. That. Okay. Yeah, yeah. When you click in Cortana, express. at first it says, "Are you?" And Google does this oh, right. with uh, Google Now on an yeah. Android. It says, "Are you sure you're in? Here's what you're doing." 
Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Right. So anyway, I'm, did if I miss? No I'm one, sorry. If I'm, no, you're okay. right. You're right. But I, I don't know anyone, including myself, who does anything other than click express settings. That is absolutely right. Yeah, and they make it they make it very obvious that you can, or, or yeah. you know, and like Leo said, there is. It's a big. Please do this, and then there's a tiny little thing of text. I, I completely agree. Yeah. Uh, and it is human nature. They know that. I mean, there's a reason it's designed yeah. this way. To, you know, just come on, come on, come on. I want to see it. Let's go. Let's exactly. go. Exactly. Yep. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. No doubt about no, that. No, you're right. Yeah. So if, if you but you don't, can opt out of it. Uh, you, you can. You can opt out of it. And people who yeah. listen to this show are the kinds of people who will. And yes. Right. Most people are not those people. If you buy my book, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, what the settings are you're opting in. In fact, right? Microsoft even lets you use Windows 10 without a Microsoft account. But it's a very yes. diminished experience, as they are quick yeah. to point out. And actually, uh, you know, I had written an article a couple of months ago, a month ago maybe, and I was saying, you know, Microsoft is much more uh, accepting of people that don't want to have a Microsoft account. Actually, as it turns out, they are, and, and they are. I, I should say, compared to Windows 8, Windows 10 does a much better job of things working if you don't have a Microsoft account. That said, there are certain experiences in Windows 10 where you say, you know, I want to use this feature. For example, you say, I, uh, I I didn't sign in with a Microsoft account, but I want to use Cortana. And Cortana will say, hey, by the way, if you want to use Cortana, you need to sign in with a Microsoft account to use Cortana. And you say, okay. And when you do that, it turns everything into a Microsoft account. It, it hmm. You're not signing into Cortana. You've now signed in as, with a Microsoft account. And I actually think that that is somewhat deceptive because it's not obvious that you're not just okaying this thing was because that, to me, that's what it seems like. You are, in fact, changing your sign-in to a Microsoft account sign-in. You can reverse it, by the way, but I just think that's slightly that's slightly deceptive. Yeah. Yeah. Not everything. My point, by the way, is not that... Um, oh, we lost him again. <laughs> not that um, you shouldn't trust Microsoft, but just that yeah. they're now a peer with <laughs> Apple and Google... You're back. I keep losing. My yep, point. Sorry. My point is not that uh, I don't trust Microsoft, but merely that they're now kind of doing the same thing as Apple and Google. And uh, by the way, Apple does this too, despite their protestations that they care about your privacy. Sure. They're all anytime you store stuff in the cloud, basically, boom, there you go. Sure. And uh, and so that's all my. I, 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 I don't mind. The other thing I, is, do, I, I think most. I chose Express are, Settings. I like Express yeah, Settings. I think most people are happy to do it, and I, and I do think. Confronted by the the boring banality of what you're choosing, most people say, "You know what? This is fine." Yeah. So what's it's what's, not like it's not third wrong. child stuff. It's yeah. not you know it's nothing wrong with people knowing more about you so they can give you better ads. In my opinion, <laughs> no, I, it doesn't bother me. I, I, I honestly okay.